This world of ours is full of some truly crazy and mostly unheard of syndromes and conditions that we're here to bring to the forefront of your mind. These conditions affect many people on our planet, but despite that, there's not much known about most of the ones that you'll find on this list. Welcome to Super Strange Syndromes and Conditions. Number 12, Trimethylaminorrhea. This one sounds a little fishy to us. For real, it sounds and apparently smells fishy. That's what characterizes this whole disorder. Those who suffer from it have breath, sweat, and urine that smells like fish as trimethylene builds up in a person's body due to a faulty production of a natural enzyme called flavin-containing monooxygenase. Some of those afflicted give off a strong fishy odor all the time, and you can imagine how that impacts their lives. Usually, the condition seems to affect women more often than men, but it is relatively unknown as to why. However, scientists think that estrogen and progesterone in a woman's body may have something to do with bringing the problem on stronger. As of right now, there is no cure for the fishy disorder, but scientists are working on ways to reduce the odor. Number 11, hypertrichosis. Has anybody seen Teen Wolf? Well, this is the real life version of that, only it never goes away and those affected with it have to live with a fur coat forever. There are two different types of hypertrichosis, localized, which occurs in a particular area, and generalized, which is characterized by uncontrolled hair growth all over the body. This condition can be present in someone when they're born or can be acquired at some point later in life. Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, many afflicted found work as freaks in circuses and were generally promoted as having both animal and human characteristics. The first ever recorded case was that of Petrus Gonsalves, who lived in the Canary Islands, but the condition didn't die with him. He had a son, two daughters, and a grandchild that was also affected. This doesn't look like it'd be fun to live with, and mad respect to those who do. Number 10, Encephalitis Lethargica. This sickness is also known as sleeping sickness, and while that may not sound all that bad, trust us, it's not something you ever want to be stricken with, as you can see by these pictures. This sleeping sickness is wholly different than the one transmitted by the tsetse fly. Constantine von Economo, a neurologist, and Jean-René Cruchet, a pathologist, first described it in 1917. It goes after the brain and can leave some afflicted motionless and speechless, basically human statues. Encephalitis Encephalitis lethargica once spread around the globe between 1915 and 1926, and roughly 5 million people were affected by it, and nearly a third of them passing in the acute stages. Most cases that didn't prove fatal left the affected forever changed and never fully alive again. Number 9. Foreign Accent Syndrome So this syndrome is pretty rare, so you really don't have to worry, but it involves patients developing different speech patterns than they once had that are thought of as a foreign accent. This happens without the person having gained this accent through visiting somewhere or even from hearing the accent. It just, like, happens and can make those suffering feel like an alien. This syndrome usually happens after a stroke, but it can also occur following things like migraines, head trauma, or developmental issues. The first ever case reported was in 1907, and in a relatively short span of years, between 1941 and 2009, 62 cases of the strange phenomenon were reported. It would be insane to wake up with another accent, wouldn't it? Number 8. Argyria How many of you guys have seen the Smurfs? Well, this is entirely reminiscent of that, and it's pretty interesting. So what causes this strange condition to occur is a buildup of excess silver sediment throughout the body, and frequently it happens to those who use a lot of products containing silver, and it's particularly common amongst those who work with the metal. One really well-known case of someone who was afflicted with this weird phenomenon was Paul Carrison, a man whom everyone nicknamed Papa Smurf, when he turned blue following the long-term use of colloidal silver to treat his dermatitis. The condition has been seen since at least the mid-19th century, and considering it doesn't seem deadly, turning blue or purple appears to be one of the better things on this list. Number 7. Exploding Head Syndrome This crazy syndrome sounds like a nightmare, almost literally, as it happens when someone is waking up or falling asleep. EHS is also known by episodic cranial sensory shock, where a person hears loud, short, unreal, bomb-like, or gunshot-sounding noises that are obviously super jarring and scary. The sounds themselves have been deemed harmless, although they can put those who suffer under a ton of stress, and the condition can actually have long-lasting, far-reaching impacts in the lives of those individuals. It's classified as a sleep-related dissociative disorder, and there are many hypothesized causes, but what induces these sounds to happen, we don't really know yet. Reports of the syndrome have been coming in since all the way back in 1876, but the first possible written account of EHS may have happened in 1691 in a biography of René Descartes, a French philosopher. 
Number six, fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. This really, really rare condition affects the connective tissue of those suffering from it in a really interesting and really painful sounding way. Those who have it have a mutation in their body's repair mechanism that allows for fibrous tissues like ligaments, tendons, and muscle to spontaneously ossify or do so when damaged. A person with FOP can have their joints freeze permanently in place following injuries, and there really is no cure for it, as surgical removal of the bone seems to cause a repair of even more bone. Usually someone born with FOP will have their first formation of bones related to the disease before the age of 10, and the formations typically progress top down, starting up from the neck, which moves onto the shoulders, arms, chest, and down. Number five, walking corpse syndrome. This weird little syndrome is formerly known as Cotard delusion, and let us tell you, it definitely sounds a bit delusional. Those affected by this believe that they are already dead or don't exist, have a significant loss of internal organs and or blood, or are putrefying away, and this was all discovered and described by neurologist Jules Cotard. 69% of those with Cotard syndrome don't believe that they are real, whereas somehow 55% show delusions of immortality. Mademoiselle X, a case of a woman who denied her need to eat and various parts of her body. This woman stated that she could not die a natural death and that she was condemned to eternal damnation. Well, guess what? Mademoiselle X passed away due to starvation. Walking corpse syndrome can sometimes be helped with antipsychotics, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, electroconvulsive therapy, and more. Number four, vitiligo. Everyone is probably familiar with this condition to an extent as it's what Michael Jackson was diagnosed with and why he changed so much in color throughout his lifetime. The condition itself is characterized by a person having patches of skin anywhere on their body that is losing pigment. Typically, the skin becomes white and has very defined edges. Even the hair may get in on this act and turn white, and it usually begins occurring in areas exposed to the sun. No one really seems to know what causes vitiligo, but it does seem to have hereditary traits, so you're more susceptible if it's in your family's history. There is no known cure for this strange condition, and only around 1% of the world's population is affected by it. Number three, Mobius syndrome. This super rare congenital neurological disorder frequently paralyzes the face of those who suffer from it and causes them not to be able to move their eyes from side to side. Those born with the syndrome most times have full facial paralysis and can't do necessary things like forming different facial expressions or closing their eyes. At times, people will take the lack of facial expression as unfriendliness or dullness of mind, but those with Mobius syndrome have normal levels of intelligence, although they may have delayed speech as children due to a paralysis of muscles that help to move the lips. It was first described in 1888 by a German neurologist named Paul Julius Mobius. Number two, Stendhal syndrome. It's known by a bunch of names, some including Stendhal's syndrome, Florence syndrome, and hyperculturemia, and is classified as a psychosomatic disorder that can cause a lot of scary, panicky feelings to arise in your body. This typically happens when someone is shown something or experiences something that has a lot of personal significance for them, and this usually occurs with art. Those who experience Stendhal syndrome may have to deal with things like panic, dizziness, rapid heartbeat, confusion, fainting, and sometimes people will experience hallucinations. What a strange, strange thing. Some do also show signs of Stendhal while exposed to things like new experiences, nature, sometimes people, and animals. Of course, animals. Have you seen people freak out over cute tiny baby kittens? Number one, Urbach Vita. Urbach vita is really rare and is also called hyalinosis cutis et mucosae and lipoid proteinosis. It was more than likely discovered in 1908, but it was first described in 1929, and there have only been around 400 cases reported since then. Symptoms of UW vary a lot per individual being looked at, but generally they'll have hoarse voices, scarring and or lesions on the skin, really dry, slow healing skin, and possible beating of the papules near and around the eyelids. Sometimes the medial temporal lobes see some slight calcification of brain tissue, which at times leads to neuropsychiatric abnormalities and epilepsy, and at times those diagnosed may have abnormal responses to fear as the amygdala may be affected by calcification. There is no correlation between any decreased lifespan and this condition, so it is deemed non-life-threatening. As of now, however, there is no cure, but there are ways to try and treat some of the various symptoms and battle back against Urbach Vita. And new therapies and treatments are being researched today. Now, how many of those did you know about before watching this video? 
Our bet is not many. It's fascinating and sometimes sad what can affect people medically. Who would have known that such strange and genuinely devastating syndromes and conditions were out there? If you've made it this far, why not give this video a like? Comment below, make sure you subscribe, and watch out for new videos every day. Oh, <laughs>